Yo, what's up, guys? I know I've been posting the past few days. I won't even lie to you guys. I've just been partying too much. I've been uh, yesterday I recovered, partying too much. Now it's time to get back to business. Uh, back to the Pendulum database. All right. So what we're gonna do now, just to give you guys a little idea of the channel, real quick. If you haven't been keeping up in the past week, we've been working on a Pendulum database. Why have we, have we been working on the Pendulum database? Because we need to have all the good cards available at our disposal to create the great decks. So as you guys see. Over here, there's so many different variants. Like, look, we got, like, front for my, we got Fluffles, we got Abyss Actors, we got the Magicians, obviously, we got the Amorphages, we got the, all the DDs that are good, we got all the Fluffles randomly, the Despots, like, even these type of DDs, the Orthos cards, like, DD Orthos, like, we got some band cards in my comeback, we got Dynamis, we got Ignites, we got Magic Spectres, we got Metal Foes, Luna Lights, Draco Slayers, the list goes on and on so far of the good cards of these archetypes that we have. The idea behind the database is I want to put together all the good cards of pendulums possible, multi human history, pendulums, spells, traps, non pendulums that are good for pendulum decks, extra deck monsters, every single card that's good for pendulums to put in a pendulum deck. I want to have five, four, four or five pages of it. I want to list it here and create it live for you guys so you see the creation of it live and the process in my head while I make it. I want you guys to see it live and then. When we have all that created, we can then pick out the decks we want to create. After the database is created, we can then create Doriano piles all over. You guys saw how I started before. We could create Football Pendulums. We could create Metal Full Magic Spectre Perform Piles. We could create DD Dynamis. Different hybrids by looking at the database and picking apart the cards in the database that are good. For example, we want to build Metal Foes. We take Metal Foes out of there. Hey, what's good in Metal Foes? Perform Piles. Because Soul Circle Pop Combination. And we're going to know by reading this. Oh, wait a second. Eccentric and the DD, you have a searchable way to pop a spell or trap to get combination. Boom, we can play DD Metaphors. Different stuff like that. It helps create crazy decks. That's how I created crazy decks in the past. So now I want to, rather than doing it myself, I want to create it live for you guys so you see the process behind it. So, so far on the database, we got these 75 cards. I'm going to rename this Pendulum Database as opposed to Game Plan Database. Pendulum Database 1. Now we're going to start Pendulum Database 2. And again, in Pendulum Database 2. Simple. The exact same idea. We're just going to keep adding. We're going to do one thing, though, because in our search, so Monster Pendulum, I believe we're on page 6 now, but we're going to see we're going to finish every single card ever made that's good for Pendulums. Now, the last video, I happened to miss the greatest card ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! history ever printed, Kirin, because it's bad. So we are going to kindly make Kirin the boss of this page by putting it at the number one area. Now, for the last video, the last 75, we're going to do a recap on everything at the very end when it's done. I don't want the recap just when the page is done. But Frankfurt Meister is definitely the best tech we found. That card is unreal. It is absolutely busted. Uh, I already have a crazy deck with this, Fumble Pendulums, but I'm not going to release any crazy decks until after this is done. And for Rohan Thomas, after the database is done, I'm going to duel him. I talk to him. We're dueling after the database is finished uh, with one of these random cool decks that you guys pick out. I let you guys, I'm going to literally create 10 cool decks in a span of like 20 days, like random sick pendulum decks. I'm going to let you guys pick which one you want me to use to destroy Rohan with. Now, let's go right back into the database and get started for today's database video. Part number five. Part number five. And get, be on the lookout in the next few days. I might be posting two or three videos a day. So be on the lookout for that. I know I haven't been posting the past week. I posted maybe four times, five times, not enough. I want to post seven, eight, nine, ten, even 15 times sometimes. Now that I have the time, now that I'm focused on my mind, I'm ready to go back to work. And no more partying. Maybe once a week, good, good, good partying. But three times in three days is not the best when you get shit-faced. And uh, come home at 8 a.m., three nights in a row. Not the best for business. But with that being said, we are on page seven. Let's get started. So Jackal, obviously. Cerberus, obviously. These are obviously no doubts. Uh, next, the Mythical Beast. Uh, Medusa. For those of you who don't know what this card does, if you have zero cards in your... If you have no card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can target one monster in your graveyard that you play a spell counter on. Destroy this card, by summon that monster. Essentially, is what it's saying is if there's a Mythical Beast in your grave or an abduct Abductor in your grave, special summon this card. Uh, destroy it, special summon that card. It could be a free Turbo card. You never know what we can find use for it, so we're going to leave that. And the last video I said uh, the small middle beast Jackal sucks. Uh, they could have some, it could be decent, because uh, you could get a get a free Jackal out, so we're going to put it just in case. Again, these are cards that are decent. If we want to play focus mythical beast, next we're on a high paladin. We're going to be putting this in the extra deck, because it's an extra pe pendulum, and we're on a high paladin is good in pendulums. Next, but uh, we're slowly going back to Magicians and Odd Eyes, my personal favorite. 
Uh, we are playing Noble Dragon in because we auto this card's broken and just a free monster on the field. And uh, you'll be surprised what this card could do with... Uh, holy shit! Yeah! With the odd eyes, this card literally just becomes a turbo card. Huh. See what you find? Like, I need Noble Dragon since day one. He used to use it with Synchro plays all the time. But it is literally a free... A completely free... If you have odd eyes on board, a completely free turbo card. So, hey, what do you know? We got a little a little gem there, perhaps. Otis Arc Pendulum, needed. Uh, the thing with Otis Mirage is it's, a, I think it's a perfect mix if you're going to put Iris with Persona and Mirage. So we are putting this in there, uh, seeing as Skill 8. But again, we do have Otis Arc Pendulum, which might just be better than Mirage. Uh, we're not putting Mirage in there. But level, being a level 3, the access of having a card that's level 3 is very important. Uh, we're we're going gonna, we're gonna to put 1. I'm telling you, having a, levels are important in this game. Having a level 3 is important for Iris options because then it gives you the opportunity. You'll be surprised how many good level 3 pendulums there are and no rank 3 extra deck that people aren't using. You can play with either good rank 3 extra deck cards, they are interruptions, just about, just have one level 3 odd eyes that have the access where if you have Lizard Draw on the field or another level 3 monster in the field, uh, you just get a free rank 3 as opposed to just having a dead monster on there. So next, the, the OG odd eyes, we're putting this in there because I love this card. Obviously, Otto's Arc Pendulum is better in every way, but Otto's Pendulum is an OG. Uh, it's too fun not to use. We're definitely using that. And we're using this this art. Definitely not this art. Forget that art. Next, Otto's Persona. In my opinion, the best Otto is by a landslide. This card's nuts. It's a one card negate. Why would you not want to play it? Next, Otto's Phantasma Dragon. It's OCG card right now. Let me read what it says to you guys. You could discard one card when it's in the scale. Add a face up Dragon Pendulum from your extra deck. To your hand. Not bad. Not bad. Now let me tell you a little combo here. Activate Otis Revolution Dragon. Or level 8. No, you can add this. Sick! When Revolution Dragon comes out, and this card comes out. Activate Revolution Dragon. Special summon a card. Get this card out. Use this. Oh, there's some crazy combos in there. But we're going to add this. Uh, it's not the best, but for Revolution Dragon, when it does come out, there's some crazy plays with it. If you have two cards in your pendulum zones on a face of odd eyes in your extra, special summon this card from your hand. You cannot pendulum summon the turn you activate this effect. That part sucks. Okay, so only the scale effects are relevant, but it could be relevant. And it scales zero, which will definitely come clutch, being an odd eyes as well. So we're going to have that there as an option. Next, odd eyes phantom dragon. Uh, once per turn, one attack is declared involving your face of monster and an opponent's monster. You have odd eyes, just an attack bonus, garbage. When this card pendulum summon effect damage to your opponent, and fully damage equals auto time 1200. Garbage. Don't play that. Next, auto is Raging Dragon. Uh, again, you guys remember what I said about extra pendulums. This too, they're all in there. Now, auto is Revolution Dragon. When auto is Revolution Dragon comes out, the auto is deck is going to be absolutely nuts. This card broken. So, for those of you who don't know what this card does, put it in the scale, destroy itself, special summon a, a Dragon Synchro. One sec. Yeah. Target, target a Dragon Fusion and Synchro XYZ monster in your graveyard. Destroy this card, putting it in the extra deck zone. Special su and then special summon uh, the monster from your graveyard. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. And then the main effect, discard this card. Discard this card from your hand. Pay 500 life points. Add a level 8 or lower Dragon Pendulum from your deck to your hand. Deck to hand. And then, when this goes on field, you could cop... Uh, well, you can't copy it with Venom anymore, but... Pay half your life points, shuffle all cards in the field, and graveyards into the deck when this goes on the field. Uh, you can pendulum some of this with the with the Supreme King Gate Zero Infinity cards. This is this level twelve, I believe. Yeah, and this card's nuts, man. This card's nuts. Uh, you can also special summon this card by tributing uh, Fusion Synchro X Y Z Dragon, which you, just summoning it like that. You're not gonna do it many ways. But Revolution Dragon's a great card. You can search for basically any Dragon Pendulum in your deck, add it to your hand, whatever skill you need, whatever situation you need. And you can also reborn cards from Grave. Remarkable card. I love it. You can add it back by Pendulum Summoning Oath Dragon. It's an Odd Eyes. So searchable. What a card. Next, we got Odd Eyes Venom Dragon. <sighs> Just looking at any Venom fusion makes me sad about Starving Venom. But hey, let's read its effect. Uh, even though it's a Pendulum, so we're going to put it in anyways. But must be fusion summon, can be pendulum summon. And then must be fusion summon and then can be pendulum summon. Uh it, okay, you can target one face of monster your opponent control. Copy the effect. Let's go monsters. Okay, not that good, but we're gonna put it in anyways. Good, it's a pendulum extra deck monster. Next, Otis Wing Dragon. 
Now, this is also a pendulum, so we're putting it in. But just so you guys see its monster effect, if this card in the monster zone destroyed, place in the pendulum zone. Uh, you can only use one of these effects. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls. It has its effects negated. So either place Battlefield as a card with Synchro Summon, you can destroy all the five or higher monsters your opponent controls. Not bad. That's pretty good. And you just need a Dark Tuner and a Non-Tuner Clear Wing monster, which will find some way to bring this card out. So we're putting this card in here. Next, PM Captor. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can target a Pendulum in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Now that is good. Uh, one interesting thing I found about this card is... In DDs, you're gonna, with Copernicus, you're sending so many monsters down to the grave, but you're gonna have to destroy a monster. It's 1800, which is uh, not good enough. We're not adding it in. Too, too situational. Next, Pandora's Jewelry Box. While you have zero cards in your extra deck, draw two instead of one for your normal draw phase. While you have no cards in your extra deck, target one card in your opponent's pendulum and destroy it. Okay, this card sucks. We are not playing that card. Now, just like that, guys, we finished page number seven of the database. Come back tomorrow. We're gonna do page eight. Uh, this is what we have so far. The coolest card we, we probably figured out on this one, but everyone knows about it is Otis Revolution Dragon. This card's busted. Let's see if we can do a Revolution Dragon the same. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We're going to be doing uh, page 8. We're going to be trying to do page 9 tomorrow as well, both together in one. And don't forget, the second the database is done, well, it looks like we're going to have two, three, four pages of all pendulum cards and good pendulum cards. We are going to use these cards to create sick decks and decks that will destroy other people. And then after we create the decks, we're going to let you guys pick which deck I'm going to use out of the creation, pendulum creations we're going to make, which deck I'm going to use to destroy Rohan Thomas with, and then after that, I'm going to call out Jeremy Mitchell, and I'm going to let you guys pick which decks you want me to use to destroy him with. Now, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I love all you guys. Thank you for the support. Let's get the channel on 13,000. See you in the next video. Peace.